Okay, now at this point we're going to start assembling finished painted walls. What I've done is got the first page of the plan here. This is B3. This is one of the first finished painted walls that are going to be assembled. Uh, I've got a strip of uh, wax paper that I'm just going to lay over the plan so it doesn't glue to the plan. And then I can just shove the whole thing to the side when I want to let it dry. The bottom part of the plan is the under layer, and then the top part of the plan are the timbers that glue over the top. All, these all of these pieces are painted. So what we're going to do is we're going to start putting brick panels. Now, I don't know if it matters much to you uh, whether these are right side down or, or, or upside down or, or whatever. But notice that when you look at the bricks... I have designed these so that the full bricks are on the bottom row and the half bricks are on the top row. So when you lay these down, always try to put them down so that the full bricks are on the bottom row going across and the partial bricks are on the top. If you do that, the brick pattern will line up. And honestly, if you get a few upside down, no one is going to see it anyway. Now what we're going to do is we're going to glue these edge to edge all the way around. And there's not a lot of space to glue to. We only have an eighth inch of, of uh, surface and, you know, probably a little less because it tapers down on the end. So we'll just uh, do our best here. I'm going to take and uh, put a little bead of glue on the side right here. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to spread this a little bit uh, with my finger. I'm going to set that right here, and that's where we're doing our wax paper because we're probably going to get glue uh, uh, every place on this. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this one, spread it out, put it right there, a little glue on this side, spread it out, set it on there, and we'll continue this way. Now, I'm going to show you how to glue this one completely, but uh, this is the only one I'm going to do that with. All of the rest, once you get the idea of doing one, then it's going to be the same way. Okay, we've got a brick panel. I'm going to put the uh, full brick on the bottom, and I am going to put a bead going across here on the side of the glue. Spread it out a little, and there we go. That starts right there, and I can put this on my little Lego square here and try to get this all to line up kind of nice and square and, and, and push it together. And then you can kind of shove it back in place on the plan where it goes there, okay? And the next thing we need is a 2-inch plank and a 1-inch plank. So I'm going to grab from my cardboard a 2-inch plank, and I'm going to grab a 1-inch plank, and we are going to apply a little glue to the edges of it as well. There's my 2-inch right there and we'll stick it on there in my one inch and just you know kind of take your time on this and we will stick this across here like that and we'll put a few more pieces before we square it up again we've got one of the uh, uh, vertical uh, vertical panels here uh, going up uh, right here. Okay, yeah, full bricks on the bottom, right? Okay, that's going to go here. We'll go ahead and put this here, like so. And we'll drop that in there. And we have a, a couple of the uh, angled uh, panels. Let's see if we go. No, that's that's the wrong way, isn't it? I don't want it to go that way. Let's see if I can find one in my pile going the right way. Ah, there we go. There's one going the right way. And we need two of them going that way, so I'm going to have to dig a little bit until I find two. Nope, that one's going the wrong way. Uh, let's see. Ah, there, there we go. That's going the right way. You notice we've got an empty door. We don't want to put anything in the doorway right now because we've got a door that's going to be sitting there. But we do want to hold its place. So one thing that you can do is you can take like one of these large windows here. You can take one of those. Don't glue it in, but just kind of stuff it in there. To sort of uh, sort of take the place, and then you can kind of double check to make sure that this is uh, kind of lining up across the top here, and that'll uh, that'll be one way to kind of make sure that things sort of line up like they're uh, like they're supposed to line. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start on the top. What I would suggest do is to go ahead and just lay these beams where you need, 
and uh, so you collect all your beams lay them out in order of where they're going to be on here and then all we'll have to do is just transfer them down to the uh, to the wall below to have our uh, finished wall section here okay now that we've got the planks laid out on the plan above we're going to transfer them down here and glue them into place and this is going to really strengthen our wall and it doesn't matter you know in what order you want to do this I'm just going to put like a bead of glue across the bottom and I'm not even going to worry about spreading it out I'm just going to put it on there and set that sucker down on there so just a, a light light bead of glue and let's see this one goes right towards the middle just putting it on the bottom you know really should be should be fine uh, we've got the, the whole wall we're gluing the whole back of the beam this underneath of here is pretty weak because we've only got these seams that we've glued but these on top you know we actually have a surface to uh, to glue them to so let's let's uh, we'll just continue gluing these beams on here I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way of the camera while I'm doing it here there we go that little sucker goes right centered right there and this beam goes across the top as such and I am just going to continue doing this you know occasionally uh, after you glue a few beams in place once again use your uh, corner made out of Legos here and push it down and try to push all of the beams you know down and up against the sides all the way around to make sure they go all the way to the sides and and that all the beams are straight because once they dry they're going to be kind of stuck there in place okay we're ready to do the back half of this what I've done is now I've got the next one on the plan is the B3 the outside of the wall so take this and peel it off the wax paper and we're just going to flip it upside down and go ahead and start gluing these pieces onto the back now it may be a little quicker if you go ahead and grab the pieces you need ahead of time and lay them out on the plan that way you can just put them straight down directly now when I glue on the back side I don't really have to worry too much about trying to get the edges of the brick glued up I've got a nice flat solid surface to glue to so I'm only going to glue them straight down on here uh, so let's start with the uh, main brick pieces I'm just going to spread some glue on there and then uh, spread it around with my finger a little bit towards oops towards the edges and uh, then I'm just going to stick it down on there and as far as the windows these windows go on the back side here okay I've got all these pieces glued onto place I haven't really straightened them up yet let's push them up against the top and make sure these are all kind of nice and square push them down really well and like I said the uh, top is probably more critical than the bottom because the bottom we're going to have to sand to try to get everything to uh, <coughs> okay now I've got the planks laid out on the plan up here for where they're gonna go I guess I could just probably set this up here on the plan like that and we're gonna go ahead and glue these down and once again this this really is going pretty quickly okay that's all the planks once again when you're pushing these around hold your fingers down on the brickwork and then push uh, push around on it that way that way you can get all of these things to kinda line up where they're supposed to go whenever you're pushing you know you want to push the wall itself into the corner to move the beams over be sure that you're you're actually pushing on on that brick one now a couple things uh, there will be a couple of cases like I've got a beam right here that looks like it kind of rocks back and forth a little bit sometimes that's going to happen to you a couple things you can do one you can push really hard snap that beam in half like that you hear it go snap then it will actually stay down and the crack is so tiny where it snapped it's not really a big deal I think this one's kind of that way too it rocks a little bit there I can push it down till it snaps and then when it glues in place you don't have a, an end of a plank sticking up in the air